What is going on guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Kyle and today I'm going to be going on another collection run where I'm going to go around to my gumball and candy machines and collecting all of that for you guys so you can see how much each machine made. Uh, before I do that I do want to mention that uh, I did actually place another machine so we're up to six locations. I actually have like two more yeses and another machine just getting ready to go in shortly. I'll have a video on that one up in probably about a week or so within a week so that's going to be awesome so we're going to be coming up on eight machines very shortly currently six are placed and going to be collecting six today now before i do that i do want to also say happy new year's to everyone hope everyone had a great christmas season i uh, hope everyone got everything they wanted had a really great time and uh, uh, one quick update on the route is there was a couple machines. Uh, one of them, the Mike and Ikes were not selling at all. And one of them, the peanut M&Ms, oddly enough, seemed to really not be selling. So what I went ahead and did is I took a trip to Sam's Club the other day and got some Reese's Pieces to replace some of those, uh, to replace the Mike and Ikes in the one machine and the peanut M&Ms in the other. And then I'm also gonna be scooping out some from one of the machines because it's really just not selling that well. And I really don't want the candy to go bad. So last time I did the collection, I made about 50 bucks. So I'm pretty sure it'll probably be right around that. Again, this time uh, the new machine had only been there for about six days. I actually put it there on Christmas Eve. So not expecting a whole lot in that one. I did give them like 75 cents to uh, test out the machine and everything. So 75 cents of it, of what is in there is mine already. But uh, I'm very curious to see how this new location does and see how the current locations are holding up. Now I'm going to go ahead and flip right over. I'm going to go ahead and do the collection. And one quick thing before I do that is I do want to say uh, if you all could t just take, you know, a split second to hit that like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. Super easy. Just like one little click. It, like click. Come on. Click it. There we go. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. All right. So now I am heading into my first location. This is actually my newest location. I had just put it in here actually on Christmas Eve, believe it or not. So it's only been here for about a week. Uh, the store usually does pretty well. I'm in here um, from time to time. I pick up uh, some beer every once in a while here uh, if I'm hanging out with friends or whatever. So I figured I'd ask and they let me put a machine here. So I opened it up. There ended up only being about um, uh, two dollars in here. Uh, you can see that in a second. It wasn't really a whole lot, but it's passive income nonetheless. So I will certainly take it and get ready to move on to the next one. So here we are. Uh, this is the auto shop. Doesn't generally do that well. Get ready to go in and denied. Guess they're not open because it's New Year's Eve. Oh well. On to the next one. All right, so unfortunately, uh, that place was closed. Not that big of a deal, though, because that location generally doesn't do that great anyway. But I did want to change out the Reese's, change out the Mike and Ike's for the Reese's Pieces. Unfortunately, I'll have to do that on uh, the next trip. So it is what it is. But now we're going to go head up here. I have another location up this way. It's a diner. But before I do that, we have a... Uh, there's a liquor store up here and I asked them about it the other day and I'm going to go ahead and follow up and uh, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Alright, so here we are going into the next one. So you got a little bit of competition here. There's a crane machine, a rack, and then my little gumball machine stuck in the corner. And uh, go ahead and open it up. Uh, last time there ended up being about eight bucks in it, so I opened it up this time, and I'm actually really disappointed. I expected a lot more than what it ended up being in here. I expected at least five, but there ended up only being uh, two dollars and fifty-two cents. Always with the pennies in this one. Don't really get it. On to the next one. So here we are. This one was my best location last time, so I'm hoping that it's uh, my best location again. We'll just have to wait and see. Go ahead and pop it open. I do see that the uh, gumballs went down pretty significantly since last time I was here because it was full almost to the top and open it up and there ended up being $24.50. That's right. So killer collection on this one. Very happy. Now on to the next. We are at the pizza shop 
and go ahead and open it up. This is the one that the peanut M&Ms aren't really selling that well. I'm going to switch those out in a little bit, but go ahead and open up the back here. I do give the owner a 10% commission of whatever's in here. So I go ahead and open it up. It ends up being $7.50. Go ahead and give him his 75 cents and then take my 625 and go about the rest of my day. And yeah. All right, here we are. This is going to be my last stop. This one usually does pretty decent. Um, pretty happy with this one so far the first one was 26 the second one was like 16 or so and then go ahead and pop this one open yet again and this one seems to be pretty consistent ends up being about 1550 now I do give him a 15% cut so I give him his uh, 225 all right so we are back home finished up that collection. I ended up collecting a total of $52.02. There's always pennies in one of my machines. I don't really understand. It's always the same one too, which I think is kind of funny. So whatever, it doesn't matter. It's free profit because it's a drop through coin mech, doesn't jam it, anything like that. So no big deal. Now, uh, moving on, uh, the one, actually the same one that always has a pennies in it, I actually slightly moved uh, because it was got in, pushed into the corner. So what I went ahead and did is kind of just relocated a little bit right outside the door. So it's very visible now. So hopefully that'll do better next time around. I guess we'll just have to wait and see next month. Um, the one place I wanted to change out the Mike and Ike's for the Reese pieces, that was the one that was actually closed. So we're gonna have to hit that one on the next one. And then the one at the pizza shop, Right down the street from me, uh, I went ahead and emptied out the peanut M&Ms because they weren't selling all that great. And then I put Reese's Pieces there instead. Uh, that machine does kind of okay, but not fantastic. So I'll probably eventually either change it out for a double head or a triple head because it, the peanut M&Ms don't sell that well. We'll see next month if the Reese's Pieces and the revenue goes up a lot, then I'll keep the, the triple head. But if not, I'll change it out for a double head and probably just go with the Mike and Ike's and gumballs. Uh, so that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. And uh, if you have any questions about vending or anything like that, I'll certainly do my, my best to uh, help you all out. Um, uh, and that's that's really going to wrap it up and uh, make sure you hit that like button uh, yep just hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you all in the next one.